So I got my own little personal tire shop for my own use, maybe friends and family. And I can do, of course, car tires. I can do small tires also. Six, eight, ten, twelve. So over the years, I always, I've run into, I've had people bring me a tire or something. And some of my own, especially aluminum rims that were very corroded around the bead. Um, and, and on steel rims, sometimes you get quite a bit of rust and I'd have to wire wheel and clean best I could. So what I always used was this from Napa and I use it in a spray bottle and it says it's uh, non-corrosive so I wanted to test that. The second thing that I've used very rarely but boy it works good if you just need the same amount of lawn and garden tire that's kind of tough to get back on I found that used sparingly worked very well but I wondered well is it corrosive it's probably water based so I did a quick little test here and I'll show you a close up of the bar that I used So this is a just a piece of regular steel that I uh, I took a sanding wheel to it and got it nice and clean. I started this test. It's been two and a half hours. Now over here is the tire lube that I just sprayed on there and spread it out. And I actually reapplied everything but the personal lube twice within that two and a half hours. So you can see, I hope you can see, the tire lube showing nothing. And of course, I just short-term test. And I'll show you a result from a long-term test coming up here. The personal lube also shows nothing. Now, some people, a lot of videos I've seen, they just, mostly with garden tractors, tires, um, they're just using dish soap, and a lot of people, I've read a lot of forums, they recommend, ah, oh, just use dish soap. Well, I'm always worried about that. And the third one here is the one with the dish soap, and that's only in two and a half hours. This last one, that's just regular straight water. That's like the control. So you can see, dish soap did do better. But it's obviously, you know, going to corrode. Now, I, I don't like to have it sealed in the bead there over time, something corrosive. So I also, I did this little one here. Uh, I forget which is which. I think this was regular water on, on your right. On the left, I just put a very little amount on there a couple times and, you know, Within several hours, that was the result. So water, dish soap. Now, over here, and this was uh, 15 days ago, I rubbed a little bit of, I don't even remember now which part I used. I think it was this one. I rubbed a little bit of tire lube and then a little bit of a personal lubricant just to see after it sat for a period of time. And it did wonderful. It did great. So I've got a longer term test here. Let's go ahead and I'll show you that. Okay, I hope you can see this all right. I'm filming in the sun. I can't even see my screen. This is tire lube. Again, this is 15 days ago. I put a couple washers in there and uh, a small piece of round stock. soaking it up, not just spray it on. I would call that definitely anti-corrosive. Now I'll do the uh, dish soap and we'll see the difference. Okay, again, this has been almost 15 days 
This is dish soap and water, um, which honestly, I only use that for bubble detection. And I can already, you can already maybe see, I hope, how rusty looking that is. Hopefully that's showing up. I can't see my viewfinder because of the sun. That's definitely showing some rust, but not near as much as water. So I thought that was kind of interesting results. Um, so if you're doing this often and if you're worried about it like I was, and you can even see, look at all that. A lot of stuff just broke off and was floating around in there, settling to the bottom, rust. So I don't like to use something corrosive because down the road could be a problem. Um, but that was my little test that I always wanted to do and just see how it turned out. So, um, uh, name brand tire lube, specifically tire lube. Make sure it says it's non-corrosive uh, if you're going to use something like that. Uh, personal lube would work. You know, I wouldn't wouldn't recommend you glob it on there. I did some tests on putting white smears on rubber, and all of those pretty well dried up. Um, and it's non-corrosive anyhow. Um, this soap, eh, I just use that for bubble testing. Now, you know... If you got brand new rims or something, and they're painted good, you know, you, you can probably get by with it. So, anyway, I hope you found it interesting, educational, informative. See you next time.